Hey folks, David Stewart here. I had a viewer ask me, hey, can the Steam Deck support a Wacom pin display? And the answer is, of course, yes. And not only that, but you don't really have to install anything for it to work. It works pretty much out of the box, including with pressure sensitivity. The only thing that you're really gonna need is a USB-C dock and some way to power your display. So this is actually not the USB-C dock I recommend. I recommend one that has a power input on it so it can charge your deck while you're working if you are uh, near power. This one doesn't have that, but it does have what we need for this demonstration, which is an HDMI out and USB in that will go inside the USB-C port on your Steam Deck. Uh, you also need to be running in desktop mode. I can't guarantee this will work in gaming mode because of kind of the scaling issues in the way that the interface has been working on that, but I know it works in desktop mode um, pretty much flawlessly. The other thing you're gonna need, um, I mentioned was a way to power your monitor. Now, if you are at home, you can just plug it into the wall. Uh, this one uses USB-A uh, USB power, so I'm gonna use a power bank and pretend that maybe I'm at the coffee shop or something and wanna practice drawing and I have my Steam Deck handy. So you can see it started up right there. You have two other cables that come out of the Wacom, a, uh, an HDMI cable which we can just plug into the bottom of our USB-C hub. And another USB, one that doesn't provide power, but provides input, um, like pointing device input to the computer. So we can just plug that into any of the USB ports there. We plug the dock into our USB-C port and you're gonna see magically, boom. It just appears, not only that, but you can see the mouse cursor tracks pretty much perfectly. You can draw and select. You could even play like, I bet you could play an RTS with this and that might be really fun. Um, but somebody wants to use this for drawing. Let's look at a drawing program. This is a free open source program called uh, Krita and you can see that it does support pressure sensitivity with the pin. So if I touch very lightly, you get a nice small line and you can push harder and get bigger lines. Um, you can even get ones, different brushes have op opacity, so you can press harder and get darker colors, you know, whatever, you know, whatever kind of things you want to do for coloring or, you know, whatever you need to do. So all the pressure stuff works out of the box. The only thing that doesn't really work out of the box is um, the the clicking here. So in the, in the regular OS, the click on here just functions as a normal mouse click. It's not a right click. In this program, you can see it turns into a little hand for like scaling your canvas around, which is pretty useful. Um, and I don't know, you could probably set that in the program somewhere to make it an eraser, or whatever you like to have for your button on your pin. Um, but all the functionality is there right out of the box. Now I'm gonna tell you about one weird thing that you need to be aware of uh, when you use that, and that is if you are driving more than one monitor. So if you're using the Steam Deck as a monitor and you're using this as a monitor, then you might notice you get some, um, you get some weird things. So if we enable the laptop screen and hit, um, we have to hit the orientation there. Funny thing is the, the, the screen on the Steam Deck is a portrait orientation. Cause it's like a, it's like a screen from a, a you know, from like a little tablet. That's what someone mentioned in the comment section. I'm like, oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's a, it's a tablet screen. Uh, so we do, for this demonstration, we actually want it in landscape mode. It seems weird, right? Um, we hit apply, and you might see the problem with this is that now my tracking is all over the place. See? Keep. And the reason for that is that it is trying to track the entirety of, you can see the mouse pointer appear over there. It's actually upside down, huh? That's wild. So you can see it's upside down over there, but the, the mouse pointer is trying to cover all of the screens. It's trying to cover the, um, the screen on the, let's do it like that and hit apply. There you go. It's trying to cover this, this as a screen and we can actually, See if I can do it. I'm gonna put it up here. Okay, and it apply. You can see it has a weird scaling, right? It it only lines up with the pointer down at the edges, and otherwise it's trying to cover both uh, screens, which is actually not what you want. So uh, we can hit keep there, but uh, what we probably want to do is disable it. But if you disable it, oh my gosh, I can't even see what I'm doing. Then it's one to one. It works it works flawlessly. 
Okay, so keep that in mind. It wants to track about across both screens. It kind of has to be a single screen experience, but you can use this as an external screen for your Steam Deck on the go. You could even use it as a gaming monitor because the OS will allow you, you could even put it like this and use it. You just have to, um, just have to decide what you're doing here. We'll do the Wacom, it even detects it correctly. Put it like this, hit apply, and boom, I can use it like this. And I could even get my keyboard out, like open up a document or something and type away, use my mouse or use my pen and my mouse, but the pin is actually reversed. Ooh, that's weird. Oh, the, I just discovered another quirk, which is that if you turn this upside down, the pin display is gonna be also reversed. So you may have to like somehow find a way to reverse this in in the settings. So you really gotta use it in the normal, the normal mode if you wanna use it as a pin display. And it should work fine. So anyway, there's that. That is the Wacom One running on the Steam Deck with no alterations really needed. You just have to have that USB-C dock in a way to power your screen. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you all next time. Have a great one.